Hey you guys, welcome back to the channel. It's Trey and I want to talk about the United States of Captain America again because guess what? We got another new Captain America and this time this Marvel's newest Captain America is a college age Fili Filipino American woman. Ari Ab Abariana. I know I probably screwed up the last name, but a female Filipino American version of Cap makes her debut in the September's United States of Captain America number four. And it's just it's just hilarious how all of this happens. I, I really think this is hilarious. It's really hilarious to kind of see this again. I mean, we knew that United States of Captain America was happening, but it's just like, what in God's name is is happening here? We're we're throwing titles on literally cosplayers in the world of Marvel. And again, no disrespect to my cosplayer fans and my cosplayer friends. It's just like they're literally making a joke out of it, to be honest. But anyway, let's let's read the descriptions. Marvel Comics, The United States of Captain America number four by Christian Cantwell, um, Elisa Wong, Dave, Dale Ingelsheimer, and Jody Nashiba will introduce Ari Ari Aba, Abayana, Abayana, a Filipino American version of the Star Spangled Banner Avengers. When editor Alana Smith approached me um, about creating a new local Captain America for the series, I immediately knew I wanted to write a Filipino girl. Wong said, "There are just there just aren't many of us in comics, and I grew up." without a Filipino American community for the most part. So every time I see a Filipino character, I get excited and I get to create one. And Captain America even feels even more incredibly special. Ara, Ara Ayaba is a scholarship student at a small private university, she continues, when she finds out her best friend is being victimized by a wealthy um, legacy student. Ari is determined to make things right, but what, uh, but what can she do when college is her only concern with keeping its donors happy and half the building on campus are named after the best friend's abusers? In order to take him down, she'll have to get creative. I'm honored that by debuting at Marvel could coincide with such an important, unique project to be um, Nashiba at it. To be able to lend my thoughts and experience to a proper concept I greatly admire, as well as work alongside such talented, diverse creators brings me with excitement that cannot be understatement. Ari's design was inspired by all the girls I've known in my life who in their day-to-day -day appear very sweet and empathetic, but when challenged, they can be terribly fierce. Her style is <laughs> very much what I and my friends would feel comfortable and confident wearing as well. I hope the youthful design is well communicated and relatable, but no matter what, I am glad I could help bring her to life. So let's see. We have about two variant covers of the character of the character and we have official costuming. So. OK, at least she got an iron shield, but she's wearing an overall jean dress with um, a black jacket and a face, a half-covered face ski mask with commando boots. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. It, it's not bad, but it's kind of like, why? Um, I don't know. I'm just kind of like, these designs for these characters just don't feel Captain America-y. It, 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 it feels more like, cosplaying as Captain America more so than actual being a character that was inspired by Captain America. And I really wish these characters look more heroic. That's what I wanted to see from these characters. And none of these characters look heroic. They kind of just look like, look how we're making fun of the legacy of Captain America to me. Because let's be honest, we already know these characters aren't going to be around that often anyway. So I don't even know why they couldn't just be their own characters. They can be inspired by Captain America. But let them have their own code name. Let them look different. Don't put them in traditional American co colors because it just seems stupid, to be honest. And why does it take so many people just to design one character? <laughs> like I, I was just thinking, like what it, what it, what they say they say it is so basically is 
is Christopher Catwell, Elisa Wong, Dale Ingersheimer, and Jody Nashima. Like, it, it, it takes four of y'all to, to write and create this character. Jesus Lord. It, it, it still doesn't really look all that decent. Um, what I see, the first, the first cover that they show, now that looks heroic. That looks heroic. But then you see the variant covers, and then you see the official costume, and you're just like, okay, this doesn't really look all that interesting. I would have preferred them actually going with the the variant cover. The variant cover um, of United States Captain America, the, the first one that you see, because this looks heroic. Now, that is a superhero costume, but we already know we're not going to get that because we already see what her official costume look like. And it just it just funny to me. That's all. I'm just kind of like, okay, cool, Marvel. You you know, this is what you waste time and talent on instead of actually coming up with a good Captain America story. Screw all of that. Introducing new characters, bring in a new Captain America story. That's what I would have wanted y'all to do. But you know, at last, you guys can't do that. You want to pander and stuff like that. And again, I I'll say it again, and I'm going to say it again. It's disrespectful for Captain America's 80th anniversary to bring in five brand new characters that have no connection to Captain America and artificial, artificial connection to Captain America just for diversity points, to be honest. Like, okay, you know, why couldn't this just be a storyline? Like the whole thing about this abuser or something like that. Maybe Captain America was in the, you know, in the area you know, saving the day or something like that. He was probably visiting his college, figured out some stuff was going on, overheard the girls talk about the stuff or whatever, and then the one girl she tries to sneak out or whatever because she would look suspicious. Steve could have came and been like, hey, I noticed that you were, you know, you were distraught about what was going on with your friends. You mind telling me what's going on? Because he saw that she was trying to sneak around in the campus to get whoever the guy is, the abuser or whatever and stuff like that. And that could lead into something bigger where, like, the college is smuggling something or whatever. So him and the girl team up or whatever and stuff like that while taking down the abuser. Captain America saves the college from whatever and stuff like that. You know, I'm just trying to, you know, trying to correct the story that makes it kind of more sense than, you know, Captain America loses his shield. You know, it just it's just stupid. You know, maybe he could have tracked he not not track his shield down, but maybe track aim or hydra or something like that. That's working using the college as a backdrop for some secret superhero government. I mean, supervillain government plan or whatever and stuff like that. And happens to be the abuser is in charge of the project that the girls trying to expose. And Captain America is there to stop them. And they just happen that their target is one and the same. And they team up or whatever and stuff like that. But, you know, Steve makes sure that she's not going to get that much action. Because she really can't, you know, because he can't worry about protecting her or whatever and stuff like that. You know, something like that. It's something that's heroic that shows Steve off. That still, you know, respects that girl character or whatever. But doesn't, doesn't come off as some kind of cheap thing. You got to make it more magical you got to make it more mystical you got to make it more super heroic that would make more sense than what you're giving me but i don't know i know this is this is marvel we're talking about they never like to do good ideas and i like do dumb ideas look at x-men gala um but yeah those are my thoughts tell me what you guys think about the new captain america um are you guys excited about this or not and i'll catch you guys later peace out